I've always loved eavesdropping on other people's conversations. There, I've said it. And, um, and then I learned that when you are a writer, that is like a completely legitimate thing to do because just like researching the human condition. Um, one of my very, very favourite overheard things was um, I was on a bus on the Tottenham Court Road with my mate Robin Brown. And uh, we were right up the front and there were mum and child, boy, about eight, sat behind us. I mean, in a big queue. And um, a plane flew over and the little boy, over the tiny gap of sky, you could see. And the little boy said to his mum, Mum, is air lighter than air? And she said, uh, what do you mean is light, air light than air? No, air is air. And Robin, my mate, who's a little bit of a brain box, he was going, well, actually, it depends on the status of the air and the heat and temperature. Blah, blah, blah. You're, just, You're right, Robin. Just, just. And then some time passed, and then a bit later on, he went, Mum, is metal lighter than air? I don't know. No. Metal is heavier than air, of course. Mm. And then nothing. And then he pipes up. So, Mum, air is not lighter than air. And metal is not lighter than air. But planes are made of metal. And then you could just hear his confusion. And I can't possibly work this out. I'll just accept it. And he started singing, Metal can fly, metal can fly, metal can fly, like that. And Robin and I were like, <gasps> pissing ourselves laughing. It was so adorable. And still, sometimes when I look at a plane, because it is baffling, you know, fair play to the kid. <laughs> if you don't, if you haven't studied aer aerodynamics or whatever the hell it is, you know, it is a bit. Metal can fly, metal can fly.